All right, well, a final homecoming today for a fallen veteran from our area killed decades ago while serving in World War II. WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough was there as family members who never even had the chance to meet the fallen sailor welcome him home. In true military form, the remains of U.S. Navy Fireman 2nd Class Ralph Battles were escorted off this Southwest Airlines flight at Birmingham Shuttlesworth International Airport. From up above, those related to Battles, although they never knew him, watched as service members loaded his remains for transport to Boaz, the fallen sailor's final resting spot. We're here to welcome him home. And that's, that's what our family always wanted. Ralph Battles was aboard the USS Oklahoma at Pearl Harbor when it was hit by several torpedoes. The ship capsized, killing 429 crew members. In fact, the Oklahoma was sunk within about 15 or 20 minutes of the start of that attack. Loved ones of Ralph Battles have waited 80 long years to give him a proper burial. Thanks to special technology, his remains were exhumed and identified earlier this year. Now he gets that proper burial this coming weekend. It's just a testimony, I think, to the country we live in and, and our military that they would do, still do this after 80 years. A military ceremony will take place at the Hillcrest Cemetery in Boaz on Saturday afternoon. Battle's nephew will deliver the eulogy. Now, I know my grandparents wanted him brought home because they had a plot reserved for him, but I can remember my, my mother saying she wished they could bring him home. Family members say Ralph Battles died serving our country, the greatest country. In Birmingham, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13. Emotional wow. story there. Mm -hmm. Isn't technology truly amazing? So wonderful that this family can now have this final piece of closure.